got six new dungeons and two new raids. Um, well, we've got apparently eight new dungeons because we've got the two classic revamped ones that we're getting seem to be a staple of of Blizzard's thinking. Um, now I hope that when they say heroic versions of classic dungeons, they don't change the dungeon. They only change the heroic version because I loved some of the old dungeons that they fiddled around with. You know, I loved just they were just better, I felt. So it would have been nice if only for nostalgia purposes you could go there on a level 90 or as it will be 100 and you can go through the dungeon and take a walk around the old place as you remember it. But the new heroic would be like a new story to, to do with Warlords. That I would be fine with. But if they're going to completely change the whole dungeon then I'm getting a bit sick of them completely changing the whole dungeon because it seems lazy. Seems like they haven't really that you know they've run out of design ideas it's like yeah let's just grab these old ones and change the stories a bit and make it so they can't go and do these bosses that they like to go and see every now and again um yeah it just seems just no just please don't do that please keep the original dungeon but the heroic version be like the new improved fiddled with it how you wish sort of jobby um gonna get some new challenge modes which I don't really know anything about and I don't really care because I haven't done the current ones um, I just I might do them I, I might get around to it but it's just not something that appeals to me um, for transmogs I might do it to cap out that you know I'll try it for that see what that goes like um, and we got new bo battlegrounds and world bosses. Well, that's a given with every expansion pack. But I'm glad they're sticking with the world boss thing because I I like going out into the world and killing a big boss. It's good fun. Uh, apart from launch day, Mr. Pandaria, where Gallium was up, and I didn't know who Gallium was because I didn't see him in beta, and I saw this rare. I'd killed like two rares just before him. I'm like, awesome. There's a rare. I'm going to go kill him. Didn't pay any attention to his health because I was just in Ra, everything's going to die bloodlust mode. I attacked him and half a second later I took a cannon to the face and died. So yeah, I'll pay more attention in future. But yeah, I'm glad they're sticking with the world bosses, definitely. Um, they're, they're a nice touch and as a person who started in Wrath, you didn't really have world bosses there. Um, they sort of started to play with it with the rare spawns um, in Cataclysm. There was a couple that were kind of world boss type level. Um, but yeah, I'm glad they're sticking with it. It's a good thing. Now, they're, they're also apparently doing new heroic scenarios and new normal scenarios. Well, I hope they do them better than the ones they've done so far because the, the main problem with dungeon uh, with the scenario sorry is they're boring they're boring they're easy and you could solo them as soon as you got 463 gear I mean you could probably solo them before that they were just pathetic um, heroic scenarios were a little bit more difficult obviously but they are just the expression I think of is you can't polish a turd and Scenarios to me are just turds, and heroic scenarios are polished turds. Um, you can't make them better. I mean, scenarios are better suited. The when they did scenarios right, or when you did scenario solo scenarios, like opening up Thunder Isle, that is when scenarios should be used to tell a bit of the story, to guide you through it. That is when they should be used, not as a means to gearing or as a means to getting valor points in in the traditional queue up sense or the traditional get a group and do them quest sense i just don't like scenarios there's something you that i just don't enjoy doing that much um well there's also let's see, going down this list level cap raised to 100 well yeah duh, it's a new expansion but i'm glad they're doing the 10 levels instead of five because five felt just like not enough even though we miss, it felt like too much because of how much XP you needed. But it will feel cycle. It will take probably. Well, they've said that they're going to make leveling 
not easier but not as demanding as it was in mists so i i assume they mean the demands on xp because it wasn't that hard to level it was just getting the xp so i hope and also the fact you've got 10 levels instead of five will mean you're actually ding more and it will feel like you're progressing yourself quicker and at a faster level now that will, it's just a psychological thing, it will probably take the same time, maybe a little less time, but it will just feel like you're achieving more. So yeah, good, good, I'm glad, and I mean, the thing that made me laugh was, I saw on the forums, like, oh, does this mean it's the end of WoW because it's level 100? Um, because many years ago, someone said that level 100 was the max cap for WoW, um, it isn't. I mean, if you look at the fun servers that are out there, you've got level 255. That seems to be the max cap, 255, because there's no level 300 servers or level 1000 servers. They just seem to all stop at 255. So going by that logic, there seems to be sort of a hard lock at 255. So yeah, 100 not a problem. It isn't at all. Do not worry. Um... I like the fact that they're not really changing the talents that much. I mean, you know, like, um, they're sticking with the free choice thing. That seems like a good plan to me. Um, I, I like this new talent system. I like the fact that if you really want to change something out, I just jump on my mount, I buy the thing to just... Uh, the Vanishing Powder or the level 90 equivalent, and you just do it. You just get on and you do it and you can change it and you can do what you want and you can pick you could change it every fight if you wanted to it's very flexible and I do enjoy it although some of the choices are more obvious than others like um, you know on your hunter there's there's like some choices there that are, there's some difficult choices um, but then there's some that you wouldn't... I mean, who takes power shot? Honestly, who takes power shot? Nobody. Nobody takes power shot. I've never... I tried it once and it felt like aim shot but renamed. And it was just like, no, I don't need two aim shots. It's fine. So, but yeah. Anyway, we've got, you know... They, what they're going to do instead is they're going to enhance your already, already gained abilities. So that sounds like a good, you know, save on bloat as well. Because, I mean, my action bars are just filled. Uh, it's it's ridiculous how much I've I've got on there. It's it's wrong. Um, so yeah, if anything, they could do with um, like slimming down the number of uh, things they've got on the action bars. That would really be handy. It'd be really nice if they could do that. Um, refined quest system with hundreds of new quests which yeah obviously it's a new X pack well the other things that I wanted to talk about with Warlords of Draenor that aren't listed there and go into a bit of detail is reforging is going yes they're getting rid of reforging and they're getting rid of hit expertise parry and dodge yeah, they're getting rid of those four stats as well, um, so I'm assuming that you'll be hit capped all the time regardless, and expertise capped. Now, this does throw up a couple of problems um, in regards to twinks. If you've got no way of raising your hit, how are twinks meant to overstat their hit so they can hit higher things? Um, because you've got level 70 twink guilds that are actually progressing through ICC, believe it or not, and how are they meant to get their hit high enough to be able to hit these things? I mean, it just seems crazy. Um, but that's a very minority play style, so really I don't see Blizzard would be that concerned. I mean, I know it's sad for them, but the needs of the many and all that. Um, so reforging's go in. Apparently flying is not going to be in the first patch of, Miss, uh, of, of Warlords of Draenor. Uh, they're you are not going to be able to fly even at max level and to me that seems just a bit wrong um, they want us to get out and explore the world well I explore the world by flying around it um, also once I've got to a hundred I've done all the exploring I really want to do and I just want to get to A to B as quickly as possible um, flying gives you freedom for example if you're on a fly point because you want to go from A to B 
and you fly over one of these awesome, fantastic, awesome events that Blizzard are working on to put into uh, the game, you can't just swoop down and go and help out because you're on a fly point. You've got to fly to where you're going. And by the time you've landed and got on a, a ground mount and run over, it'll probably be over. So you've missed out. Um, so yeah, that, I don't see how that's helping with uh, getting people out into the world and doing things. But saying that, you know, until they announce more, I'm still going to reserve judgment. I have thought about not subscribing until 6.1 when they're meant to be flying back in, but I don't know if I could do that. I just don't know. I'd have to think about it. As I said, there's no point in making firm decisions now because it's too soon, as Blizzard would say. Um, the other thing, they, they were changing gear. They're changing the way gear is going to work, which seems interesting. Uh, for example, they're going to... Um, you pick up a bit of gear as a Rep Paladin. This is the example they used, which is a better example than a Hunter, because Hunter can only be DPS. Um, you pick up a strength piece. You're all happy and joyous. And um, then for you want to... I don't know, you're a healer as well, you dual spec healer. And for the next fight you're needed to heal. Well, you change spec and your gear changes with you, you know, the strength becomes intellect and you're ready to go. Now that's a good thing because it's cutting down on I on bag bloat, which is good, really good, you know, appreciate that. Um it's bad because also, they've said that gear is going to be more random, and to me, it sounds like they're going for more toward the Diablo style of gear. Now, if they go towards that, where it's completely random, uh, you get ra random tertiary stats. Then you could be in theory forever farming for the perfect bit of gear and never get it. And I mean, I know it happens now, but it's going to be even more extreme when this comes out. So. Hopefully they're not going to have too many tertiary stats, and hopefully they'll, I don't know, they they usually come out with something, and they usually do something to make it good, so I'm just going to wait until they announce more, and hope that they, uh, they get it right, basically, which they generally do. Oh, I have to have a drink there, my throat's getting dry. Um... So that pretty much covers Warlords of Draenor and what they're coming out with and what I know about so far. Um, all in all, I'm quite happy with it. It seems like a good expansion. Uh, the footage that they've released seems good. It looks solid. The zones look quite nice, very pretty, very well done. Um, obviously, I have my concerns, which I stated, but... Um, all in all, you know, obviously they might alleviate my fears, they might make them worse, you know, they, whatever they do. But ultimately, we'll wait for more information, and once that is more forthcoming, then I can make more informed decision and bring you more information as well. Um, that's everything for today, and uh, that's me signing off. See you again. Bye-bye.